Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Quan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raids Willing Specialist account. Every 75 Raids I can go for 1 of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 Soul Raids. Please enjoy the series. Nice. And that is number 1000. Holy shit. That means I can finally use my scythe, dude. It's crazy. We're gonna unlock a power that is so broken that, yeah, this character just hasn't seen a power that insane. So we can finally move this uh, this item out of the uh, lock tab. So yeah, that means T-Bow is unlocked as well, if we get one. But yeah, we're gonna use this mostly for speedrunning. I'll probably use this a bit at, at Theater of Blood, just for the chance of the Sang Stab, but speedrunning... But yeah, this thing is gonna be a crazy upgrade from the Rape here though, DPS-wise. Unlocking the Scythe is pretty nuts because not only is it insanely good for raid speedrunning, I can also use it to train my Slayer. So I've actually never really done a whole lot of Scythe uh, use for Slayer other than like for bossing Slayer. So for actual Slayer training, the Uncharted Scythe is actually quite good. It can be better than even a Garazi Rapier on some tasks just because of the three hit property on uh, large mobs that have low defense. So there's a bunch of Slayer tasks that fits that property. Whether you can mob multiple mobs that have low defense or just a large mob like Gargoyles for example that has low defense. So yeah, I'm gonna go experiment with the Uncharted Scythe and yeah, go train my Slayer. I have to train Slayer anyways, as you know, I am working towards 95 Slayer and also Avian Seeds task so I can go for the Armageddon Chest Plate. So this is like the perfect opportunity. Once I wrap up a lot of the Slayer and actually end up getting the Armageddon Chest Plate 95 Slayer, I will definitely be charging the Scythe and yeah, we'll be making some good uses uh, with it for speedrunning raids and getting even faster times. Alright guys, I'm going to show you the setup that I would use for Slayer with the Iron Shore Scythe, so of course melee. So the stats are not bad, 103 slash, 95 strength, and uh, here's the max hit. On the single line it is 45, that's really good. So the Scythe hits 3 times, right? But the second hit is only 50% max, and the third hit is only 25% of max. So the second line would be about a 22 or 23, and then the third line would be about an 11 or a 12 and that comes close to a theoretical max hit of almost 80. I can probably get to 80 if I had some slightly better strength gear on some of these areas but nonetheless it's insane because let me show you what I can do with a rape here which is my next best thing 58. So the scythe on charge is still theoretically over 20 maxes higher than the rape here. I can actually mob them, so Uncharged Scythe is still better than using a, a Rapier if I can mob these creatures. Oh, Taz is already done, nice. Alright, so uh, my first try with the Scythe mobbing thing, Strat, I got about 31k Slayer XP an hour, so that's pretty good. That's like typically using like a cannon or something. Uh, I can actually use the Uncharged Scythe doing this uh, Diagonal Taz as well. It's actually pretty easy to mob all, mob three mobs at the same time. So there are a bunch of other tasks that the Uncharted Scythe is actually going to be one of your best choices for melee training. And they are Greater Demons, Calfay Soldiers, Worms, Blood Vills, if you uh, can mob them, which is doable, not too hard. Uh, grotesque Guardians, the actual boss, and uh, Jellies. There might be a few other ones, but those are the ones that I'm 100% certain that the Uncharted Scythe will be really good for. Alright, finished my first uh, Gargoyle task with the Scythe Uncharged. Not bad, I'm getting like about 30k Slayer XP an hour. I still do Theater of Blood occasionally, and now with the Uncharged Scythe, my setup has gone a bit better as well because it is... Second behind the Charge Scythe in terms of DPS in quite a bit of situations at Theater of Blood. So the biggest one I would say is probably Bloat just because you can still hit like 70s with the Uncharge Scythe there with South Amulet and yeah it's just so good there. And it's also pretty good at the Nilo boss melee form. 
And as Verzik is quite good during the first phase with the pillars. And uh, also third phase of Verzik as well is still the second best DPS there. So if you're showing blood runes, the uncharged side is still really good at the theater of blood. Oh my god, dang. No! Woo! Jeez, I made it. I got it. Oof, Jesus Christ. Oh, I fucked myself so hard there. Oof. Yes, that's it, boys. Uh huh. God damn it. I wasn't ready for that, but nice. <laughs> okay, well, we got a scuff tecton into an onyx. Oh wait, last time I got something with Dragon Claws. And that was 939. Oh damn, we're actually on a dry streak then. 939. Let's just say 940 to 1010. What? I'm 70 dry? What? That's crazy. Okay, well, it looks like, you know, we're paying the price now. Nice. I got that mob heal. Oh my god, an armadillo helmet again. <laughs> oh man, that's uh, two of them now. Holy crap. Oh, well, I already have one. From I think it was the task before I got one, yeah. Alright, I think we're gonna end the trip here. This is uh, actually crazy. Look at my uh, armadillo boss kill count. I, I think this guy respawned uh, four times in the middle of the kill, so 92 KC. So I did 23 kills this trip. So yeah, that's really nice. Integrating a bit of blood barraging mid kill has kind of made the method even more relaxing. And more uh, consistent, I guess, even more consistent. So yeah, new PB, 23 kills. It's pretty late night right now. Not as many PKs will be on, and I got these bones here. So, uh, Thousand Dragon Bones, Andrew Superior uh, Dragon Bones, uh, and some Insole Head. So I did the math uh, on Calcusource, and I will get myself 289 Prayer, I believe. And that will let me uh, get an extra Prayer Point from my uh, Potion yet again. So I'll be able to get 30 Prayer Points back per restore. Oh man, I'm loving this feature here. Oof. The ability to get multiple occurred orbs. And I can just get all? Yes, yes please. That's gonna be really nice, man. Nah, it's just an 86 prayer and a 2050 total. Really? Are you joking, dog? Ha, <laughs> what is this guy doing, bro? Ha, <laughs> he's using an MSV, bro. Okay, alright, his switches are... Mm. Yeah, that needed a bit more work, my dude. Uh, I'm giving you a... Um, I guess a 3 out of 5, you know, for PKing skills. Yes! 88, that's awesome. Yeah, let's just uh, show you guys the result here. So, I'm at 53 prayer. It should give me all the way 83. That's gonna help so much at Armadale, especially. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, how do I keep getting these, bro? How do I do that? Yo, I don't know what kind of magic I'm pulling, but I just got my third freaking Armadale helmet. Oh my god. That's insane, bro. They do call me the helmet collector, bro. Seven ancestral hats, and I guess I'll get uh, seven, seven of these, you know? Yeah, one issue is that this fight, I'm already getting hit so freaking much. Like, what the hell, man? Ooh, that was sick. I just got a three-way off the boss. Oh, I got, I just got another one. <laughs> that was some good-ass healing, boys. Wait. Oh, shit. That's nuts. I got my first ever God Sword Shard. Huh. <laughs> today at uh, the armadale task as you can see uh yeah two armor hilts now so this is our uh, current uniques 
three helmets, two hilts, and I have about 380 armor kills. What? Oh my god, really? <laughs> yes, let's go. 220 AVNCs, bro. I got it. Alright. The first task, though. The fifth task took me like two days, which is, I think, still pretty good, so. Hell yeah, dude. But, looks like, uh, yeah, it's getting a bit harder to get these. Oh, wow, I just hit 95 Slayer. Hell yeah, that means I can, uh, kill some Hydra. Hell yeah. But yeah, we're not ready for that yet. I haven't unlocked it yet, but. I just don't really need to train Slayer seriously anymore, so. Hell yeah, bro. This is a new PB for me, then. Uh, we got 109 kills. Some of these were double spawns, so... I'd say at least 25 kills, because that would be 100 KC. And then 9 of them probably were double spawns. Alright, man. We are starting the tutorial point gathering for faster Armadale tasks. So every 10th task, I go to Dordal, and every 50th, I go to Conor. Anyways, uh, we rushed to the 600 tasks, and we're about to hit up Conor. Hopefully she doesn't troll me. Alright, here we go. Oh, easy. 10 skill to Wyverns. Oh my goodness. Alright. KO. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Hell yeah, it's... Uh, 450 points, so that's like 15 skips right there. Okay, 15 chances to get an Armadale task. Let's do it. And task we didn't get. I think this is number 7 or something, or 6. So let me show you an example of a kill that I do with the method that I currently use. So it involves a lot of freezing and a lot of blood barraging. So I start off by freezing the melee guy, as you can see here. I don't want the melee guy to touch me at all because he does a lot of damage over time. So it helps me reduce damage this way. And I'll keep trying to freeze him every time uh, that it's unfrozen. And now I just try to hit the boss. I flick between augury and range uh, rigor. Augury lets me tank hits, magic hits especially, so it helps a lot. And the melee guy is coming through. Now I freeze the melee guy next to the ranger so I can actually heal off of them in the middle of the kill. It's really useful. This is a pretty big part so I uh, as you can see group the boss together by just clicking on the boss when it gets close and I have the auto cast set to blood barrage so I'm healing off of all three it only works in this type of setup where these minions are west of the boss like that so I just try to go for like a quick you know four heals if my HP was initially low if not I don't even bother I just keep the mega guy frozen as much as I can and now I just simply attack the boss as usual between the rigor flicking and the augury flicking. So I make sure that the rigor is on when my you know crossbow hits so I can get that hit in there with the uh, prayer bonus. And if the melee guy spawns or if the melee guy freezes uh, again, I just make sure to freeze him so that way he doesn't get in my way. But there's a lot of intricacies uh, with this method here like such as how I'm pathing and how I'm kiting. That stuff, it's really hard for me to explain, so I'm not even going to try to. But the general idea is keep the melee guy away from you with Ice Barrage. And also kite around the wall, so that way you have distance away from the melee guy, so you, you know you don't have to freeze them as often. And also flick between Rigor and Augury, or any equivalent prayer that you have. So that way you can tank the best you can while dealing the most damage that you can. And of course, I'm involving some blood barrage in there. So if you learn how to group them together at the beginning, you can really save yourself a lot of food. And yeah, that's how I do a kill like that. All right, task completed. Well, pretty much completed. Uh, we get Vlad Dehyde body. Hooray! Now we have uh, gone over 500 boss kills. That's insane. I've done so many. In like a span of two two weeks and, and change. Alright, looks like I gotta get another task though. And try again. And then I gotta get some more. Yes! Let's go, boys! Two days for this uh, seventh AVNC's task. But we got it. We got it, boys. I'm worse than like 560 KC or something. Oh! 
Oh, oh my God, dude, that actually happened, bro. <laughs> Yo, are you kidding me, bro? All right, so I'm streaming this, you know, some guys like, yeah, man, first kill, first kill of the trip, first kill of this task, actually. Holy shit. We got the Armadillo chest plate. Yo, 500 kills, man. Not bad, not bad, dude. Here's a little fun observation here. So I started the Armadillo grind with about 60,000 blood runes. And 500 kills uh, took down about 20,000 blood runes. So I was using a bit more blood barrages than your typical guy and ice barrage. But yeah, 20,500 kills. But I saved so much time that it was well worth it, you know, not having to catch Shin. So very nice. Uh, let's do a little comparison, you know, so the Armadillo chest plate is pretty damn strong defensively More so than it is offensively compared to, you know, the other choices. So I've been using the Armadillo D-high rates for a while now uh, Comes with that prayer bonus chest plate has the same kind of deal, you know, prayer bonus except it's just so much more tanky Look at this 70 magic versus 50. So this this thing's 20 more magic. That's nuts comes with the extra three range accuracy as well but yeah, the, the defense though is where it's at though. So that means we are now over 100 magic defense. It was below 100 prior. Oof, that was, that was a good dodge, boys. <gasps> yes, let's freaking go, dude. I just broke the dry streak, yo. Uh, I think we're at 100 and like six dry. Oh my God. This is the biggest dry streak on this account. Not my biggest overall dry streak, but 105 or 6, holy shit. Oh man, okay, 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 let's open it up. Here we go. <laughs> Dex scroll, whatever, bro. I'll take it, dude. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely consider giving it a like. I'm assuming you did because you made it to the end. But yeah, it would help out a lot in promoting this video. But, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a French chat, so if you guys need a place to hang out, definitely consider joining ours at Mr. Iron Bar. And also, consider subscribing, that way you won't miss on future videos. And if YouTube content isn't enough, I do stream all of my live progress on Twitch as well. So consider visiting us on twitch.tv slash Anyways, I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care and bye bye.